Welcome to Cardiff everyone, I'm Nick from Master Vault. The boats have just arrived after a, a gruelling uh, transatlantic crossing from Newport in Rhode Island. Uh, in the process, this boat behind me, one of the Dutch entries, Axo Nobel, smashed the long-standing 24-hour monohull record with 602 nautical miles. This edition of the race, we're going to be looking at compliance and safety features. We stood out here on the deck of one of the Dutch uh, entrants in this race, Team Brunel. I'm with Dan Jowett. Uh, Dan is the uh, electrical team leader for the Volvo Ocean Race. And Dan's very kindly offered today to walk us through the boat and to have a look at some of the safety systems that they've got fitted on board these vessels. Starting on the back of the boat here is the antenna frame, which is uh, where we mount most of our communications equipment. Um, and uh, starting up top here, we have the Fleet 250 done for a problem. So we have two of these on board for redundancy. The top one here is on uh, 24 hours a day, uh, continuously. So it keeps the teams in touch via phone and email. Um, they can get weather over that as well. So it's a key piece of the uh, safety equipment on board and communication equipment down here. The, the Fleet Broadband 500 is higher bandwidth. You can do live streaming, videos and calls. That's where you see the live calls, uh, voice and video calls with uh, sailors as they're sailing through, uh, through the various legs. That will be done over this one. Can you um, tell us a bit about the tracking, Dan? How does that work? So the tracking, um, basically all the information on the yachts goes back to Race HQ in Alicante and uh, they are tracking the boats continuously. Every few minutes you get the latest speed, um, heading uh, and wind information off each yacht. That's brilliant. So should we go downstairs and take a closer look at what's installed in the nav station? So what have we got on here, Dan, and what do some of this kit do? Uh, starting up the top here, we've got the VHF unit. Um, and below that, we've got uh, one of our Magic 24 12 converters. So we carry two of these, which gives us about 40 amp of 12 volt power available. On the far right over here, you also have the, uh, the grid interface, which shares the information between the C-Zone network and the uh, BNG network on board. So the two can talk to each other, so we have all of our C-Zone information on our plotters um, and we can control the C-Zone through the plotter, which is a really nice redundant system. So us a bit down about what we would do in the AIS unit and how that, how that works and what that means to the teams. Yeah, so the, the AIS unit uses uh, PHF frequencies to, um, uh, it's basically a, a vessel uh, anti-collision software uh, system, basically used internationally for shipping um, and teams use this to, to look at each other for racing and to uh, avoid other ships. And if you come in a bit closer, so this is Anchor cabling, uh, it's all NEMA 2000, you can see that um, it's all colour coded so the yellow stuff indicates that it's a backbone cable, uh, the red stuff this is a power injector to put power onto the network itself and it's all linked together so every single component in this boat talks together and that all leads in um, operating the boat in a safe manner. Then we've got the, the key part of it here for us is the uh, Touch 5, um, which is a touch display uh, with a huge amount of information accessible very quickly. Um, you can control every circuit on the boat from here, you can monitor all the DC loads. Um, we also make uh, use of um, the mode function where we can have a low power mode, a day sailing mode, a night sailing mode. Any errors we might see in the system, any blown fuses, whether they're software or hardware, and um, gives us a huge amount of information. If for some reason there's uh, a software fuse or, or any sort of problem, you can uh, bypass it directly on the coil here just by shifting the fuse and the circuit will be active. So Dan, thanks ever so much for your time today mate. It's been a pleasure as always. It's been really informative. You've given us some great information. For leg number nine, they're racing up to Gothenburg in Sweden, which is the home of Volvo. So stay tuned and we'll be back soon.